on the troll. Hello and welcome to Mzansi. It is that time, obviously, where we have to deliberate on what happened in that court. But before we do that, Emily, greet our people. Hi, family. Welcome to the Mzansi Reality YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining us yet again for another live stream, or rather our regular, regular live call-in show where we deliberate on the Senzo Miwa trial. And of course, you are also part of the conversation. And please, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Press that subscribe button and join the family and join the chat, the live chat. There are many of our other family members right here on Mzansi Reality who continue the conversation on the chat. And you're more than welcome. Just don't cuss out anyone, okay? We don't tolerate strong language over here. Yes. And disrespect, don't do that. And yeah. uh, also like, like the video, guys. It's still the same modus operandi. Like the video, do the right thing, share the video to whoever is interested in the case. And we can come here and gather and deliberate together. Just for starters, mm. I'm going to start the show like this. Okay, okay. All right. I'm just going to start the show. Uh, from the beginning. Yes. Because people... Yes, I want to hear it. Have been. Koluma Nati. Have been. I'm sure I'm you could sure not hear yeah, that. I'm not sure if our family can hear that. Koluma Nati. Sima Meli. Koluma Nati. Koluma Nati. Koluma Nati. By the way, I'm not surprised. I don't think Mzanzi reality family is shocked. Let us start. About the verdict. Hey, Sanbonani, Mr. Anonymous, no, Emily, in Amsanji, says the day for 14 as a battle versus South Africa. It didn't send a little voice note in over some tens in Genum to Selel. So, Kumanga says Zulu. Gas with Abanya. Aba Mameli Betu Nani Emelino Anonymous. By a belief, would he into the ends of Galayo? Couldn't see his waist bushel a pire. If I nail good yens a giggy bugitti, say yens egg. Say yas, mean a bayabang bopper, a something like a petit so. Shy you were just just in a shower. Get quick reason you would think shy. But you get a layer slowly, you must an alarm little a poise a belly corn, a labuzo with the inices at so wooding shy. A wing for no good to get all Abama Melivet Bawazi. I think seven years, ten years ago, man. Babo Pumfana was a car, same, same, same way. The way a babo pangazo is in this. Umfalo Bambo Pegway Sunday. Tatabam se prong will spread. Nasale David on a mapupin. But a kayak say my respect. Kotu masa sam letang up a David on. But alum fan alone, Bamusa, a prong will spread. Mabe fear corner, Bam Chacha Mugutu Chonchile is in Gomozum Lung. As a city something. Umanga be the Tolum, Umanga be figure la Payomachi straight after three times be appear a court. Machi straight at eight. Into the abai show, agayiz. Umfalo magatetel. Umfalo bam tati le stiso bam tetel. Bam tata bam muse tel mas manch. From Prongol Street, bam muse tel mas. Tina saz nga suskat. Is three months down the line asas luto. Bam muse tel mas mabe fear ko na amachachi za chinchi le manch. But uchonchi le is kuta kwa bulawi puno samu samu. Kwa bulawi mlungu soro gutingiti puno. Kwabula umlungu and then say church on a little case match. It's only to have a zeal as I said, tell mass because in the one test bazi, tell mass would long for no boshi, Kwabu would see a kaluk attend a tell mass. So attend a guy two guy three a tell mass, he caught in a corner at a into a little twayo abayes. Sensual would get 
bonke abantu abangayibhilivi indaba yale zansi izizibushela phezu u5 iyenzeka kithi seyenzekile noma laba mbopha ku Sunday 3 months down the line besingazi ukuthi uboshiwe size sazi after size yadlula indaba yase Bromwell Street sekse Delmas to another case state so lo bamthedele no bamthathile bamusa e Delmas mabefika bamtshatsha nge another case manje yemeda plus ukuchontwa kwezithuthuthu nalapho futhi umagistrate azangayiboni case ukuthi bangayiwin i'm sure was 8 months down the line march sengisho ukuthi izinto lezi ziyenzeka bonke abantu just babe aware izinto ezinjoko lento yenzeka lapha ya is a real story thi asiyazi siyiphilile isibongo ngokudlamini ngihlale David Tone maphupheni namngu anonymous ikigama kodwa siyayazi asiyigesi siyayazi seke yenze yenze uma ngabe ngizobe ngani mamelanga nibe nelangeli mnandi ke nokusuka ubuhle ifame ngizobe sengulele siyasebenza kusasa bekithi nje ithi ngizulisele lokho ukuthi kubhlungu siyabona ngoba sesiyazi sidlulile lapho sazobanzima yeah uh well that's how we enter today um this is someone who says he believes those guys because he is the in fact first hand he has been there and experienced until it. experienced that the brutality and then um after a while of that to him um one police decided to ask why do they have to beat him and then it happened to his brother and his brother was arrested they without their knowledge they were not told anything um and then he went to court the court eventually said no this case is not watertight initially he initially, was accused of he was stealing, accused of, of cows. stealing cows yes and then he was taken instead of being released same modus of operandi that happened to Ndanzi uh, instead of being released he was taken to Delmas mm. and Delmas due to be to the fact that they know some of the people that side that's how they got to know that the guy is actually arrested and is there and he says they are from uh, Marisbeck but they are now situated in Jimistin right mm, i think he said so wait no it's around the, 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 uh, i might have missed some of the things but david david on yes mm. so th- that's what other people have went through and the yeah, again the court said no this case is also not watertight and that's how eventually the brother was let go mm. that's basically the story so this is our reality right now in in the country is mm. that you can randomly be arrested and then add charges and then you are released because this this case maybe there's not enough evidence or whatever and then you are you are taken somewhere else in another court in mm. another province mm. and mm. this sounds like a nightmare it's like you're taken to close the loophole of whatever case that is pending on the other side this how this sounds as the as 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 a caller or a person who send a voice note uh, is narrating the story and 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 the people that they do target they know that these people cannot even afford to appeal mm. or to sue the state mm. or to do things that really mean fighting for their rights mm. it, it, it's the first signs that okay they arrest you for the first time they see that okay nobody's visiting you they are seeing that okay you are come from a poor background or from a poor family already they're like this one is a target yeah yeah right this is the start of the story. It has nothing to do with sense of but just throwing yeah, similarities. To us, it seems like it's a movie, right? It mm. seems like we're watching a very terrible movie with a terrible script. Mm. But to some people, this is their reality. And mm. that is what the caller was making us aware of. Mm. That these things are actually happening. It's real life in South Africa. People just get arrested and once uh, their cases, they are dismissed by the court they are kidnapped and taken to other places to go and stand trial for other cases that they know nothing about so it's the norm right now
Mm. And the question is, how long is it going to continue and how long are we going to take it? Yeah, and then we enter to the story that we are here for. And oh, that yes. is the story uh, of Senzo Meiwa, uh, the case of Senzo Meiwa, and uh, the ruling that uh, occurred, which we already predicted. Uh, not that we knew anything about it, uh, just that by observing people and, and, and how things were happening in that court, it was easy to... To, to, to actually say to tell what mm, that this is gonna go this going way. It's not even and, a and, and there were people who said, um, hey, this judge might surprise us. You know, faith is, is there. That's a good thing to have a mixture of people, extreme people and uh, people who give the benefit of a doubt. Mm. And, well, the, the extremes the are wall. winning because it was on the wall. Mm, the writings were on the wall. It was quite clear if you were observing him, his demeanor and how he was handling the defense and how he was handling the state. You could tell that this is what we're going to end up with. Even the marination that happened. Yeah. Of saying that this is not the end of the story, preparing the minds that are at who are going to fight for this. My advice. Mm if this was to stand any chance, mm. was to seek for a different opinion when it comes to a trial within trial. And why I'm saying this? Because it starts here. Where does it end? Are we still going to say um, it's not going to... There might be a surprise. Are you still going to lie on that? That no. The court is going to be impartial. You cannot afford it. Um, uh, and, and, and rule otherwise. And... and if you ask me, um, I find it hard to actually believe that there's going to be something different from this. The losing starts here. The yes. bleeding starts here. Yes. I don't think it's going to end. It's, it's, it's a... I know they're like, oh, it's not a train smash. <laughs> they're trying to lighten the situation. But it is. It is kind of a train smash, in my opinion. And you see, um, the problem with other people, yeah, continue, I mean, so to, to disturb them. No, you can continue. I lost to my train of thought. Uh, I almost also lost mine. <laughs> see, the problem, people think that we're going to have accused number five, um, accused number six. Kelly. Uh, which is, uh, according to the affidavits that was read by uh, uh, Genindi is, is Kelly. I don't think so. Why? I don't think Kelly is coming here. I, I heard them quote the Criminal Procedure Act Section 219A to say that uh, 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 a confession that is made against another or implicates another accused does not necessarily uh, mean that that other accused is implicated in a court of law or something like that. So I heard them quote that, and I was like, oh, my God, this is for Kaylee. <laughs> no, the, 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 that quoting happened after Nisi stood up. And yes. it was Nisi putting that on record so that it does not implicate his client. Okay. Because that we don't know what that confession is. But definitely it might have names, if you ask me. And those names then, in advance, Ms. was saying, um, we are not going to consider that. Okay. So, but in so doing, Kaylee also becomes the beneficiary of the same law. Yes. If you She's ask me. She's mentioned in the confession. But then, we are not going to overlook the so-called connections, the mapping of the phones, which have no substance. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. We're not going to... Because in my thinking, the defense would have asked you, I mean, Baloi, in that uh, meeting, to say, what exactly are we facing here? Um, and if we're facing a mastermind, where is that mastermind? Yes. Um but it did not happen. Seems as if tomorrow um, it's gonna be a normal day as usual in a in a main, in a main trial, mm -hmm. and and that worries me because then we might forget to bring that part. I would have liked to have that part. Why? 
because that part would come with contradictions in my thinking. That part would come with uh, something to, 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 to vindicate themselves, to say, uh, it's not how it happened. Maybe we could hear a different story. Mm. And I don't think that's, that's the, that, that is what the state want. You don't think so? I don't think so, that they want that kind of a story. The, the case is confused as things stand. Hmm. Um, I, I don't think that the defense wants that. Hmm. So these guys might go down. It might come to three people. And why I'm saying three people? Because the other one that needs to represent, it's a gun issue that is still left. This, ma- this expect still going to come and say things that they tested on that gun and the bullet and uh, the markings and what not. Mangena. Do you understand? So mm. Mangena is still going to come and say that. Mm. So this is not safe with the client exactly as they might think about when it comes to confession. But once now that issue of a gun comes in, then a bit of confessions kicks in. And then it's three of them on the stand. Well, they did say that they are going to be reading the confessions onto the record. So Umis Grenye, Rapadu, Mboto are going to be coming as witnesses to read what they wrote on behalf of, or I don't know how to describe it, but yes, in South Africa, confessions are taken by the police officer in his handwriting or the magistrate in his handwriting. And then that's how it is. And... Who judge today said that's admissible. That's the process. Yes. That's how things are. Don't ask me. I don't know. It's the law. <laughs> it's the law. So people are excited that hey, this is going to bring now accused number six. Ah. Uh, uh, and if you consider the, the, the fact report. that uh, there was a, what do you call it, a submission, as, as Gnindi alleged, that there was a submission of that uh, warrant of arrest. Yes. Uh, that Baloy did not entertain at the time. Uh-huh. Mm. And then you get Zandi cele- celebrating this, this so-called victory. Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if she understands I, what, I don't what is get happening. It. I don't get it. I'm really not sure if <laughs> she, she fully understands what is <laughs> happening. Uh, not unless I'm not aware. Maybe there's a beef with the sister or something. Or maybe they've been guaranteed that nothing will happen to her sister. Maybe she's taking the word of whatever protection is coming, allegedly, or that they've been promised that... You know, nothing is going to happen to your sister. But they led evidence that says there was a communication with Kayla. But yes. look at it this way now. Now that I'm thinking about it, look at it this way. If the confessions are not going to bring accused number five, now we are going back to where it all started. If the confessions are not going to bring back num- accused number, uh, it's not going to bring in accused number five, or implicate accused number five, mm-hmm. um, or even if it's implicated, it's going to be disregarded, mm. then the connection of accused number five with Kelly is something of non-material. How so? The accused that is there should be found in the case, that accused number five. If it's not found, in that in that case, as things are seemingly now not. Ask yourself this question: Why did they stop the reading or bringing on record the confessions, the so-called confessions or whatever statements that were written by these other three accused? From what I remember from their previous counsel was that they didn't sign. They couldn't but that's not what Balui said. What did he say? They said they they're not going to bring it in. That's it. They didn't give that reason of the, because they didn't sign. Well, they didn't give that reason. Do you understand? Yes. By so doing, that is also exonerating accused number five, accused number six, because accused number six should be brought in by accused number five. 
Yes. Now do you understand? Now do you so, understand your titi saying uh give me ndanzi allegedly. What is then it goal? seems as if ndanzi and muzi they seem to be closer to getting those two. From these confessions. But the link with accused number five is going to be disregarded, even if it's there on that confession. It's going to be disregarded. Yes, because it can't be implicated. A confession of one does not implicate the other. That's not how the law works. So basically we have three going free, if you ask me, according to Actually what we have four. now. Three. Three and yeah, and, 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 and obviously mastermind. one is still free. Yes, the so-called mastermind still free. And if you ask me what is going to happen now, they're going to try to to shift from the mastermind to robbery gone wrong. That's the only um, uh, theory that saves the mastermind. Um, there was an interview the so-called mastermind, that I, allegedly. I saw with the spokesperson of the NPA for that region in Pretoria. And she's saying that there's evidence. The state has evidence. <laughs> I'm waiting to see that evidence. Yeah, the, the, the evidence. I want to see that evidence. The evidence bef- becomes that confession. It's, it's, that's it. That's it. Mm. The, just, this is all they've got. Mm. I don't know. For some weird reason, they need to bring accused number three. But they did through the phone link. Was it accused ah, number one and accused number three? We are talking about proper evidence here that puts them at the scene. I want that evidence. Last time I remember when we did a video uh, where we were discussing the statement. Uh, was it a statement, a, a chart sheet? Mm. Yes, a chart sheet for mm. these five accused. Yes. And there was mention of a grey polo. Yes. And the AVL. Is that what they possibly could be talking about? They said they draw the AVL from the golf. So the link that you're probably talking about for accused number five comes in with that grey polo, allegedly. So do you think that grey polo had an AVL? That's what they are saying in the chart sheet. They remember, you don't remember that chart sheet when they said that they pulled the AVL of the grey polo. So they have Nkabi that goes and uses a, 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 a car that has a track. <laughs> I'm talking please, about someone, please. I mean, accused Even number five. Hold yourself, please. A, accused number five is not just a child's play, right? Yes. If that is the case, if they come to me and say, Accused number five is arrested, and the cases where accused number five has been arrested, they also use AVL. And that AVL from that case of those cases of accused number five, mm-hmm. it was already pointing at some point to Kelly's uh, house or Kelly's mother's house. Mm-hmm. Then I would believe it. But if you say, for some weird reason, this Polo all of a sudden, when it comes to sense that this guy had an AVL on on it, then it's a different story. Because this guy is... Gabi in a track. Yes. Would he track me where I am? Wow. I mean, these people, they normally even use, they don't use smartphones when they do these things. Because they know you can track them. Yes. Pop up or that they use the small phone with no internet. So all of a sudden, you can track everything that is happening. Wow. Let's see. I mean, exactly. I wasn't thinking about it before, but guy. <laughs> but by the looks of things, and I called this thing long time ago. I called it long time ago when. There was no working together between D4 and 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 Mshalon. Mshalon. And people were like, I know, uh, maybe D4 is bullying. D4 is. W-. I was worried because, to me, 
Accused number five had nothing to lose, actually. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm. And we're still in this position. Accused number five has nothing to lose. At, at this point in time, accused number five is still serving his sentence. Which is a very long Which is one. a very long sentence. But obviously, everything we say here. Allegedly. It's allegedly. And we everything are just, is alleged. We're just connecting the dots slowly. <laughs> and we're being helped by this public information that is available, that we're watching. Everyone is watching it. Mm, mm. So, yes, guys, after five months of hearing evidence from approximately, we'll say, less than 20 witnesses, because I'm not exactly sure of the number, but there has been a lot of witnesses, hey? A ruling was expected to be made today on the admissibility of the alleged confessions and a pointing out by accused number one, Muzao Kalelas Bia and accused number two, Bongani Tanzi. The trial within a trial reached its conclusion after almost five months of evidence being led, both the state and defense wrapped up their closing arguments on Tuesday and Judge Ratam Khwatleng indicated that this will be a ruling and not a full judgment. The state said today um, that it has been set down for a ruling in the trial within a trial and they basically were letting us know that today it's only for the ruling that uh, Judge Ratam Khwatleng was going to be making, uh, already hinting that they're not going to be continuing with the main trial today today and again the judge clarified okay uh, he made it clear that this ruling on admissibility is not final and can be reviewed it can be reviewed at a later stage dependent on the evidence in the main trial what do you make he of said that? it's not a judgment it's what do you ruling. make of that it, it means the state has nothing that's how I interpret it. It means the state does not have enough evidence. So they are going to be using the confessions and hope that whatever the state can come up with will uh, support the confessions. And then at the end of the trial, he will make up his mind on whether these confessions were admissible or not and make it a judgment. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? The judge is emphasizing that this is not the final, final decision. Yes. This can be reviewed. Yes. Underline that at the end of the case. Yes. And free advice. If I was you, I would not take that. If I was a defense, I would not take that. That is why the I'm, only I'm solution, thinking of it like this. The only solution is to appeal this now right now right now not wait because there's no gonna be time of relaxing why i'm saying this it's like someone's telling you sleep you'll wake up a king <laughs> just sleep 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 you'll wake up rich don't worry don't you, work don't work just, just relax don't don't become anxious about what is to happen don't exhaust yourself just relax relax it's relax. like you're making a ruling Tula and you're saying tu, you will review Tula yourself nana. just calm down you make a ruling and you say you will review yourself towards the end yourself you yourself. will review a decision that you made mm -mm, doesn't work like that and did you hear how he put it they how did, did he put it all those confessions voluntarily freely freely and, and voluntarily. voluntarily and you think for someone who's showing this character someone who's self righteous who's always correct is going to say at the end do something wrong is going to say at the end and then correct i himself. was wrong but for accept, accepting this uh, 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 confessions, confessions. Ah, simple free advice from me I don't think so appeal right now if you need to appeal appeal it now because there's not going to be a, a time for you to appeal later or even the everything judge changing from now mind. on will hit you like a ton of bricks mm, 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 that's it <laughs> you won't even get the time to breathe <laughs> You'll be standing there trying to make your arguments and you'll be told... Another thing is okay, coming. Okay, finish. Another one is coming. No, you'll be told, okay, is that it? Okay, 
done. And after, you know, then he at the end, away. you'll be told after carefully considering and, and, and uh, the, the, the evidence that has been given here <coughs> and also looking at the confessions, mm. I move. I find this accused guilty. And he can't give it away. I mean, we've seen it all. He really does give it away on what the judgment looks like. Do you understand? You know, we've seen with trial within a trial itself that we could already see from his behavior and everything that this is where it's going. So you need a second opinion. Mm. You need someone else. Yes. Who's not highly involved in this case. Definitely. Because seemingly the judge has been playing that part in my own opinion, of being a state a team member. A state team member. That, how, and, that and, is and, how and it and looks. And he's even hinting. All those judgments that he was hinting, most of them were the ones he was using today to make the ruling. And no judgment that is recent. All these judgments happened way before you were even born. And we all know what was happening. You're telling me that since 2002, there's no trial within a trial that has to ever use. happened in a court of South Africa that he could use. He's using up. The old way of doing things. So you think that kind of a person is going to say at the end, no, in fact, um, I don't think the state has enough case, has enough evidence, sorry. Um, even this confessions we are wrong we were wrong to accept them by the looks of that things that is never going to happen never so whatever you want to do do it now because later there's not going to be a time for no. you to to start saying but my lord you submitted one two three your ruling was such that mm -mm. mr Nisi, where are you going where are you going where are you this? going with this it's going to be intense now. And when you go appeal the full case, <laughs> now it's a different story. Mm. Because some of the things will be accepted again the way they are. Yes. And then we continue with the trial. Yes. Like so confessions, like a trial within a trial. Appeal this trial within a trial. Because you'll be ap appealing the last ruling. So that means you'd have to start on that main trial now. and move everything you accept, in my thinking. Mm -hmm. By that time, the damage would have been made. As, you know, as they've made an example of saying that, you cannot heal the damage that has been made. There's no way of healing that. This I, judge did not even bring into, at, into attention that uh, uh, Miss Cronier was wrong for recording exactly. dance in his ruling. He never mentioned such things. And like I wanted the details. I wanted him to mention there that was no meat. this is because of this and it didn't meet up with this. The accused version is that this happened while the state's version is that this happened. But this is what's missing from the defense to support this. And this is what I have from this. Like I was, I was expecting that meat also. No that explanation. What you are told is you that... You know, I, I, I feel so robbed. Like, I feel like, what made you come to the conclusion that the confessions were done freely and voluntarily from the state? The state had a case to prove beyond reasonable doubt. And you feel people, that this... Like, I wanted you to tell us how you came to that conclusion, and I didn't get any of that. And your feeling is that this is enough. And this is enough. So it's so passive. I the don't same understand. confession, the con same confession that is enough now is going to be enough towards the end to take you to jail. I can safely tell you that. Joe, I, nah, I, I was expecting him to read pages upon pages upon pages to say, with the theory of accused number one saying one, two, three, four, Miss Grunier was sitting there. And there might be a probability, wada, 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 but wada, this wada. probability outweighs this one. Because So my ruling wada, wada, is wada. one, two, three. I was expecting that. That's a normal thing. And that's why he was like, this is not a judgment. This is not a judgment. It's a ruling. This is not. But still, in that ruling, it has to make sense as to why you came to that conclusion. How do you heal that ruling from uh, disadvantaging the accused? 
Are they How highly you disadvantaged? It? You cannot heal it. So, if you cannot heal it, that means your judgment towards the end will be more reliant on the very same ruling. Yes. That you made. Yes. And so far we've seen how you work. So you're going to craft the state to move in a direction that everything they present must protect this ruling that you made. Allegedly. We know, allegedly. We have seen you operate and we know that it's coming. And yeah, we'll see it as it unfolds, in my opinion. This is strictly my opinion, okay? <laughs> the judge has asked uh, Advocate Baloi to read uh, Section 217A for the confessions taken by Mboto Rapadu and Grunier and 218 of the Criminal Procedure Act, which uh, spells uh, put the grounds of how a confession should be obtained. The section highlights that a confession must be made freely and voluntarily in one's sober senses without any undue influence. Of course, Advocate Baloy read it all, and yeah, that's n- literally the crux of it, the summary of it, my summary. <laughs> Baloy then moved to Section 219 of the CPA, the Criminal Procedure Act, and this section outlined uh, the fact that no confession made by a person shall be admissible as evidence against another person. Now, a lot of people, including myself, feel that this is one of, or oh, this one in particular is for Kelly, uh, the alleged mastermind. I'll, I'll and, repeat uh, and again. Justification as to I'll why repeat she's again. Not arrested. I think you missed the part there. Mm. You missed the part where Ms. stood. To remind the but judge. But he did it later on, not at the beginning. He did it later on. And they've been saying that. It's, it's been repeated. It's been put in our subconscious and, mind. And my submission is that uh, what are they going to do with the so-called records? Hmm. The calling that was happening allegedly with accused number five. Yes, and the master alleged mastermind. So, Baloy moved to Section 218 of the Criminal Procedure Act that deals with the admissibility of a pointing out statement. Remember here that Bia was taken for a pointing out by Kenel Khadebe and pictures were taken of him pointing, allegedly. And uh, he was saying that uh, actually they were hitting him as they were forcing him where to point and taking a picture. And they are saying, no, he did it freely and voluntarily. So Judge Mukhwateng started with his ruling. The judge referred to a case law, uh, S versus Tzotezi and others, 2003, a ruling on admissibility is interlocutory and may later be reviewed. It is not final. Mohwatlen quoted another case, State versus Molekwa and others from 1965, dealing with a ruling in a trial within a trial, and it also clarified that a ruling is not final and can be reviewed. McDonald AGP said it is important to bear in mind that a ruling on admissibility is not final, relevant evidence let in the main trial and may be taken into account by the judge or magistrate when reviewing his decision on admissibility. No matter what the source of such relevant evidence might be, there's no reason why this should also not be the position when a trial within a trial is held. So Judge Schultz, who remembers Judge Schultz? I mean, this was mentioned to Baloy on Tuesday. Do you guys remember that? Just to, 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 to throw a spinner, um, I hope that they will answer you that they do remember or they don't. What if the confessions are contradicting each other? I don't know. We'll let, have let, to find let, out. Let, let, let me say, what if uh, Moses' confession is talking about people who are not on the dock, as uh, Gossipation says? And then the the Danzi one is talking about people about people who are in the dock. <laughs> that is a conundrum. But do you see the problem here? Why I'm worried about the the accused number, the so-called accused number six that was not initially followed up with? Yeah. Is that if it's brought on this case, and that's what I've been advocating. That I I would not like him to be brought in this case as an accused. 
Mm. If he brought is brought in this case, even if we open three seven five, then he cannot be charged twice for for the same crime. for the same crime. She'll completely be off the hook. That's the problem. So, even that if also this case ends up being a mistrial, yes, that means she's also exonerated. What a way to dodge a bullet! You don't. You like saying those things without saying allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> well, in a case uh, S versus Muchinundu. Chinindu, mm. 2000, of Vet Vatter's Rent. A ruling on admissibility on a trial within a trial is interlocutory and may be reviewed at the end of the trial in the light of a later evidence. The principle in itself shows that the subsequent evidence in the main trial may decisively affect the determination of the issues in a trial within a trial and it may subsequent evidence and why also not earlier evidence. Well, Judge Mokhwatling also added the case of S. versus Ntuli from 1993, Vet Vatersrand, which was a judgment on appeal, which was before Zuman and New Hunt. So according to him, these are some of the most brilliant judges we had in this country, uh, that this country has ever produced. Okay? So it says, accordingly, the state reason... When, when were they? 1993, the case is from 1993. The best judges. Mm -hmm. And they were of this color, yes. Mm. Okay. And uh, he said that accordingly, the only reason advanced in the judgment for admitting the confession was that the evidence given by the appellant was unsatisfactory. The evidence which he relied upon for reaching this conclusion was all given after the confession was admitted and it related to the contents of the confession rather than the alleged coercion. So the evidence relating to the coercion had been given during the trial within a trial and had not been scrutinized at all. And it is difficult to see in those circumstances in what grounds the magistrate admitted those confessions in the first place. The magistrate seems to be under the impression that a confession may be admitted during a trial provided only at at the end of the trial, the evidence as a whole is sufficiently to justify, or is sufficient to justify that visibility. So that mission of the confession on the basis that evidence may later emerge to justify its admission would in view constitute a gross irregularity that deduce the procedure for determining whether a confession is admissible to nothing more than that of a charade, that miscibility or otherwise of a confession falls to be determined on the evidence placed before a court in a trial within a trial together with that miscible evidence which has gone before it. If at the end of a trial within a trial, the requisites for admissibility have not been proven, the confession may or must be excluded. So this is him literally saying that the defense had not proven that the assaults and the torture and the what what took place. Mm. That's how he's justifying it with this case to say that in this case, um, it was not proven that the torture element and the confessions were taken by force. So they wanted proof that as um Danzi alleges that I was made to sign bah, a proof that a slap happened, proof that there was that blood. And remember, he said that the clothes he was wearing on that day that actually had blood disappeared in one of the police stations where he was incarcerated in. So they don't have anything to prove that. It's just their version versus the version of the police. The version of the police is backed up with many, many writings. <laughs> so they didn't have that privilege. So if you are in that situation, then it seems like you have to pass away in that situation, it seems like you have to pass out because how are you going to be able to prove that 
this took place. I'm sure you can see that this is difficult to prove right now as it mm. is. Mm. So there are some people who really uh, tolerate the pain and they're like, I'm not signing this. I'm not signing this. I'm not signing. And some could have died in the process, you know. So it, it's a really tricky one. So I, even the judge has taken the side of the state in this situation and is saying that they did not prove that the forcement happened. So it cannot be admitted on the basis that other evidence may emerge during the course of the trial to justify its admission. So once a confession is admitted, its admission is provisional only in the sense that evidence may thereafter emerge and which requires it to be excluded. So the case of R. Malozane, 1952, and S versus W, 1963, and S versus Lamini. This one is a favorite. We've been hearing it. It's been a song in the trial within the trial. S versus Lamini of 1971. Mm. Mm. So the judge said that is the law. So it mustn't be argued that this judge didn't take note of evidence of coercion. Did he really take evidence of coercion, guys? Let 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 us let us discuss. Do you think Judge Rata took the evidence of the coercion that he was hearing? To me, in my opinion, and I'm sure you've seen my demeanor around this whole situation, I don't think he cared. Mm. And I don't think he listened when it came to those versions. The time that accused number one and accused number two were on the stand giving their versions, it's like it's like um, it was already out of the window. He was disinterested. He was very much disinterested. So that is why even Advocate Missy stood up to remind him that you must take both, both versions of evidence it was for this purpose. And that's why he's even slotting it in on the record to say that that is what I did. But that's not what you did. You see. Thank you, Uncle Nice. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Uncle Nice. That is not Nails. what he did. Uncle Nails. Nails. Yes. Spelling, please. It's N-E-I-L-S. N-E-I-L-S. And what is the comment? Did they leave a comment? Yeah, they did. The comment is, as for NPA, I'm really surprised why it says the confession has really helped with the case. Now I seem to have a problem with NPA for the statement. I believe theirs is to focus on how the justice works. Yeah, honestly, but our NPA works differently. Hey, they... <laughs> They, they pick sides and they make it clear that they've already chosen a side. Even when these five accused were arrested, they were screaming very much uh, they are guilty, mm. you know. And you, you, are, you are bringing up an interesting point to say that they, they, were, they are showing relief or joy that these confessions have been admitted. It's almost like they were heavily relying on the confessions. It's like they don't have much except for the confessions. And that that is worrying. That is worrying. Um, um, that is very worrying, in my opinion. So the judge said that when the state presented the confessions of accused number one and number two, the defense objected. The principal objection was that, number one, they did not make statements. They did not make confessions. They were told to sign documents which were fully completed and they were told to sign here and there and initial there and that was the initial defense. Mm. The second defense is that they were assaulted, tortured, severely chooped and electrocuted, kicked in order to elicit their signat signatures on the documents. So in other words, these accused before court, their evidence is that they don't know the contents of the confession. Mm. They don't no, they were never read to them. And if you go further, accused number one, for instance, said that uh, when he went to sign the confession or statements before Mboto, Mboto, although he kept referring to him as Maboto for some weird reason, he kept getting the names of these people wrong. I don't uh, know It was why. done on purpose to actually throw you <coughs> off in my own opinion. Mm. Welcome, Fiso Sindani. 
Welcome, Swiso Sindani. Thank you for joining. <laughs> Thank you. So, never even sat down, he said. He said, when Boto came, they were assaulting him. He was punching his fist to demonstrate that they say when Boto came, they were doing this, you know. All that group of policemen and well, Boto then called him aside and said, you know what you, what you, why don't you want to sign these documents? Mm. You know, you must sign these documents. These guys are not going to stop injuring you. And then to save his life, accused number one said that he signed. So no discussion with Mboto in an office sitting down. So now, this completely told me that the judge has already chose which side to believe. Yeah. The state's version for him is what he believes more than that of accused number one. I don't know what informed him that accused number one was made to sign the document in an office instead of the open area that accused number one was describing or taken to. So to him, he's already believed the version of the state when they said that that confession was made at an office somewhere in some police station while accused number one is saying it was in an open field of some sort and he was getting beatings there and Mboto was telling him that you know you have to sign this so that you can live you know yeah so he's choosing to believe the version of the state to say that this happened in an office you know what the funny thing about it is there were not many witnesses, at least within Tanzi, when you went to Magistrate Grenier, there's a couple of witnesses. But with this office with um, Mboto, there's, there's not much, much witnesses around that situation, except for who? But he's choosing to believe that state, the state's version, that it was in an office and not in the field. So according to accused number two, he also said that he went to sign the alleged confessional statement before Miss Grenier. All he said when he got in, even before Miss Grenier could introduce herself as a magistrate, he came in and told Miss Mutlaping, the interpreter, that you may tell the lady, which is also another point that I have said before and I will say it again. That's not what accused number one, number two said. He said that he talked to the interpreter lady to say, can I get a bath? Can I call my family? I haven't bathed in days ever since I got arrested. He never said, tell this white lady. Do you understand? That, that's mm. where I see that he really didn't. He was passively listening just so he can get it over and done with. He wasn't listening to really get the whole scenario or to get their version completely. He had already made up his mind by the time they said that to testify. And you can tell how cold he was. Do you remember that I read? Look at this doc, doc, this doc, look at these documents. Mm, and the many, many files that yeah. he was showing us. Okay. Nothing is done for nothing. Yeah, so this is kind of like deja vu to me. This judgment, I was like, ah, this one. <laughs> it was already... That thing is just it's not even a, a ruling. <laughs> it's already it's been in the working progress. I have hinted to you the cases that we've had before. S versus Lamini. Schools. We've had these cases being discussed with Mr. Baloy. Mr. Baloy, have you read? Have you read about schools? As if it's a casual conversation. No. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you know, we are if, not stupid. <laughs> if we gave this judgment and he was mostly a quiet judge. I think I would, I would, I would be fine. Me too. It's the position that he has been playing within this these proceedings that make us even be more worried. Unfortunately, okay. Because he's always is part of the game. He's really part of the game. He's in the pitch. Yes. He's inside. Yes. He's not even a referee inside. He's one of the players. Do you inside understand? Inside the pitch. And then you come with this ruling that says what you have been enjoying. I mean, the, the, the lighting up when Baloyi was, yes, yes, yes. Do you for, I think you forgot this one. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah, it makes yeah, it, it makes, makes one sense. Wonder. Now, when you read this rule, does it make sense, you guys? Especially no, normal normal judges they would say, "What do you think of case so and so?" Mm. And also throw a case that contradicts what 
is being yes. submitted yes. by the state. You yes. know, just because they want to exhaust all avenues. Mm. And by the way, sorry, uh, Niels have been corrected. That's the name, Emily. Niels. Yes, Niels. Yes. Hi, Niels. Thank you very much. So he's not doing that. He's just giving the cases that are supporting what the state is saying all the time. He has never thrown a case that contradicts that. You know, normal judges, since, I mean, in, in South Africa these days, the cases are, are in public. God, and no. You, and you see judges, the judges of, for example, no color. They, they, they have seen them when they were dealing with uh, the case of, of, of former President Zuma. Uh, Dalimbofu. Mm. Uh, they, they, they do ask questions. If you put in a certain uh, assertion, they, 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 they always try to distract it, uh, see if you actually understand the other side. Mm. You are not one sided. Mm. But he's not doing that. Mm-mm. No. He will never bring a case that contradicts that. You will never bring that case. Never. Mm. So another thing that uh, accused number two said that the interpreter, he told the interpreter that, you know what, I haven't bathed for six weeks and uh, um, I haven't had a bath since the 16th of June, I think. And also that I want to speak to my daughter. I want to speak to my partner or parents. And that was what he said. He sat down and looked at the ground. Mm. And Miss Grunier what she did was that she was busy with her computer and she never asked him anything. You know, another interesting thing is I was waiting for him to justify the presence of Mohani as being one of the investigators in that room where Ms. Grenier was taking accused number two's confession. Mm -hmm. So that did not bother the judge at all. And the state did not dispute it. Did they dispute Mohani's presence while Danzi was taking a confession with Ms. Grenier? Even Mohani himself testified that he was there. Did he? I think so. But no. I may be correct. I think he said he was outside. He, he said, outside. but he was there in the vicinity. Yes, and he was, he was not supposed to be there. Yes, according to yes, the yes, yes, yes. And Ntanzi said that he was actually inside the room talking to Miss Grenier just before she sat down and took the so called confession. You know? And Ms. Grenier, what she did was that she was busy with her computer and she never asked him anything. All she was, is she was busy with the computer and then she would get out and go f- gossip. It's how he decided to put it, gossip with a fellow magistrate or a fellow white lady and come back. By the way, this lady was not mentioned by Ms. Grenier except to say that he, she was called. She said she was called by her senior to go and take a confession. No mention of the white lady being in the vicinity of the confession being taken. That's what I remember also. There was a calling made between the two of them. And she painted a picture of her being alone by herself Mm. in that atmosphere. You know, she never included this other white lady. So... He also referred to Mohani and he said that Mohani was going in and out and consulting with Miss Grenier. Nothing was discussed between accused number two and Miss Grenier except that uh, he hadn't had a bath and wanted to speak uh, to my daughter and my partner. And the same applies for Rapadu, referring to Kenna Rapadu. Nothing, he was just, you know, beaten up and told to sign. So this court, after careful analysis of the evidence adduced by the state, after careful analysis, I want you guys to listen to the wording that he chose of the cross-examination interposed by the defense against the evidence adduced by the state, and after careful analysis of the rebuttal evidence of accused number one and two, and the cross-examination interposed by the state, and after careful analysis of the heads of argument by all the party's consent and the verbal submissions made by all the councils in this court. You know, he kills me when he says, careful analysis. Careful. <laughs> Is it really careful analysis? <laughs> I can <laughs> leave the careful out. <laughs> Put analysis. <laughs> Put analysis. Leave the careful out. 
No. He said, I have dealt to not like this magistrate did, throwing shade at the magistrate whose case he was actually referencing. Child. <laughs> I think it's State versus Lavin, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Throwing shade at that judge to say that he wasn't supposed to allow the confessions. He says, I've dealt with all the evidence relating to whether he said alleged confessions were made freely and voluntarily in the sound and sober senses of the deponents without any force or coercion. I've dealt with all that and I've also dealt with the other primary defense by the accused that all the accused were not apprised to their constitutional rights meaning section 355 of their rights they were never apprised according to that and the court even also interrogated that as we all know section 355 encapsulates the concept that if any evidence is acquired through infringement of the bill of rights that evidence should not be admitted into the record of the proceedings relating to section 7 and section 18 and section 19 of the criminal procedure act Consequently, after going through all the evidence carefully, this court has reached the following conclusion. One, it rules that the confessions made uh, by the accused or accused number one was made freely and voluntarily without any coercion. With accused number one was in his firm, sound and sober senses. He hasn't considered that the confession was made at night. No. He says from being arrested at 1 o'clock to going and making a confession at that 10 o'clock at night, accused number one was in his right sober senses. He was, he was in Pashash. He was, he was okay. He was top. Born. Judge. Two, the confession made by accused number two in respect of the said confession being taken by Ms. Cronier, the magistrate, the court rules that it was made freely and voluntarily without any coercion when accused number two was in full or in his full and sober senses. He hadn't taken a bath. Have it on record. Many days of not taking a bath, right? Mm, not having contacted his loved ones. Mm-mm. He made that confession under those circumstances, and you are saying he was in sober senses. Inasmuch, he's denying the lawyer that was present in there, claiming to be present, representing him. He was in his right and sober senses. Welcome to South Africa. This is how things are dealt with in South Africa. Mm. Mm. And also, the confession made before Kenneth Rapad was also made by accused number two freely and voluntarily without any coercion. So when he was in his sound and sober senses. And also the pointings out made by accused number two before Kenel Khadebe were also made freely and voluntarily without any coercion. When accused number two was in his full and sound and sober senses. Yeah, that's the ruling, you guys. That's basically it. Mm, that was it. You can now call us. You can now tell us. You can bother. You can do your thing. Because wow, wow, all I have to say is wow. It is what it is. No, it's wow. You know, going through it again and thinking about the evidence that was given in the court, you can clearly see that no consideration, exactly what Munisi was warning against is exactly what happened. There's no consideration of what the accused were saying at all. It's bashing it, actually, in my opinion, to say that you're a liar. You're, you're, you're lying. That did not happen. You understand? So already it's being shaped to say the state cannot lose. Right. Let me just read this. If the two mutual destructive versions are placed before the judge, he must thoroughly assess both and determine which one is true and which one is false. In doing so, full reasons must be recorded in ruling. Three, there were many disputes on what happened, what didn't happen, where in, the, in, where in this case we can say we know why the judge accepts the version of the states and rejects that of the accused. Mm. Four, there were issues of law, like the validity of the arrest on which Mugomezuru submitted, 
but the judge did not rule on. Five, the judge knows his ruling is wrong. This is why he keeps saying it can be changed. It's a guilty conscious speaking. Mm. Six, disappointing ruling, but not surprising. Mm. That is someone who just summarized. Summarized it beautifully. And I agree with every point. So the lines are open. Please like the video. The lines are open. As usual, we know what to do. You call, you say your two cent, and you try to be as short as you can. Preferably two minutes. Max. So that is if you guys would like to call. And there's a WhatsApp number, and there is also a direct number. So those numbers stand like this, 067619033. That is a WhatsApp number. And the call number is 0711 And um, the numbers are scrolling below. Uh, if it happens that you forget what I've just told you now, right. What do you expect tomorrow, Emil? The reading of the confessions. Okay, the what do you expect from those readings? I expect the version that was placed by Uzungu Uyebo. Mzansi, hello. Mzansi, hello. Can you hear us? Are you there? Right. Uh, try calling us again. Mm. Mzansi, hello. Okay. Oh, it's my mm. fault. Mzansi, hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi, how are you? Hello. Yes. Um, good, 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 sir. Good, good, yeah. No, um, you know, this thing, uh, this this ruling, we were anticipating it. Uh, that's true. I think it came as a, a shock as well, but the, the, our judge is this predictable. Mm. You know, um, yeah, he, he, he's, 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 um, Judgment, if I should put, or his reasons, uh, they are very quick, 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 quick. I only mentioned two out of how many days were we were we in the uh, trial, with, in, trial within the trial? Five months. And how many things five that have been said, mm. said, and very solid and reasonable things. But he's just choosing these two, which are, for, for me personally, are very weak. That in terms, he didn't look at the at the at the magistrate. He looked down. Mm. He didn't greet the magistrate. Uh, he never spoke. It, that makes the the the, the confession f- uh, to be ruled that they are free and voluntary. That uh, accused number one never the, the, um, this. Uh, I'm forgetting the name of the guy that took the. A, a confession for accused number one, they say allegedly. It's important. That he didn't treat him in the office uh, uh, also makes this this uh, confession uh, in law to be proven that it, it was made freely and voluntarily. Our judge is just being predictable and uh, he's showing us who he is. Uh, and I'm telling you, and I said this before, He's messing up his good uh, record if he did have one. Mm. Um, so yeah, that, that's my two cents. Uh, and also, guys, sorry, I I know now I'm just pushing aside. Mm. Uh, or from from the case, I'm really asking Mr. Anonymous. I know, you <laughs> well, but I'm asking guys: Is there people that are writing bad messages or maybe saying bad things to? To you guys who are content creators, mm. and I see you guys. It's very it saddens me when you think of the platform. Those people, yeah, uh, you even you even give them passion mm. when you are talking about these people. But yeah. with us who are commenting good things, we don't say anything. But there will be that one stupid person, and you say, "Hey, this time you know this." Just don't look at those messages. Let's not give them. A, a, a platform to shine. Mm. 
Point and taken. I think so, for other content creators who are listening in, who would be maybe listening, we don't have to entertain stupid people in life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it lies with us here in Zanzibar reality or anywhere else. Thank you. Thank Point you. taken. Thank you. And we'll take that advice. Yes. We'll take thank it. you. Yes. Uh, thank you, McDonald. Thank you, McDonald. Mm, thank you uh, thank for you. your generous donation. Thank and I'm sorry so to much. the first caller because uh, I did not, it was my bad. I muted the. the, the, the Connection the connection to the line. so that it does not disturb. Now the, the lines were on, but the, uh, it was still on mute. So you can call again. It's not Please that uh, it's not your fault. It was on my side. I know that we have bad lines in South Africa. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even think that we're gonna have this live because uh, internet is acting up. Please yes. like the video and let's keep the calls coming, guys. Um, if 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 someone's still on the call, you can still try again. It's not a problem. It's not that we are not answering in. That's true that we shouldn't focus on people who are telling us things that are out of line, and we are taking that point. We are focusing on people that are 100% with us on this side. Not agreeing, in a sense, but who communicate properly who when they raise their points. Not like uh, five-year-old. That is, that is a good advice. Thank you. Let's see. Mzanzi, hello. Mzanzi? Hey, Mr. Anonymous. Say, how are you? I'm good, man. How are you? Hey, we're good. We're good. We're good here. We're cold. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's cold. I'm also cold because I'm outside. Yeah. I'm at work. Yeah, you're speaking to TDSO, man. Yes, Hi, TDSO. Yes, you remember last time I said, even if the confessions were admitted, it doesn't mean it's the end of the, the case. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yes, and I'm still going to say it, that um, the con- the confessions will be were admitted by Mr. Arata. It, it, it does not necessarily mean that it's over for the defense or for 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 the accused, especially one and two. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So uh, my my two cents worth is um uh, the defense now has to work hard. Yeah. Uh, especially when it comes to those um, guys that are going to be uh, coming to testify mm. about those uh, confession statements. And also, again, another thing is um, I was just telling somebody during the day, I'm saying that, you know what, I... <laughs> Uh, on this case, I believe that, well, it's my prediction. I said, you know what? Somebody's going to come and uh, confess or part this, of this, this whole case. There's going to be a person who's going to come and destroy this case mm. uh, because of their conscience. Mm. It's either it's going to be a person who was in the house or it's going to be a person who was not in the house because of uh, it, it. It it won't be easy to see uh, people going down for something that they didn't do. Mm. I'm not saying those guys are not I, I, I are not uh, are not guilty, but uh, with the evidence that has been led in court. Mm. There was no gold teeth on Tanzi. The DNA is refusing. Mm. Um, Kininda came and said the gun that was used to say uh, 38. Then Mangana came in before Kininda. He said the, the, the gun was used. It was, um uh, what you call it, a 9 millimeter. Mm-hmm. So yes, there's going to be a whole lot of things that uh, are going to happen. And besides, uh, there's going to also be a lot of technicalities going forward mm. because of 
those people in the house contradicted each other. Yes. And when they contradicted each other, um, it, it also gives a sense that you can rehearse a lie, but you cannot rehearse a lie forever. Mm. Yes. So I'm, I'm just saying that. And also, people must remember that they can still, the ruling can still be overturned. The confessions may not be used depending upon going forward. Because mm. remember that the, 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 the state is the one that has to have uh, to put their case beyond reasonable doubt. Yes, the, the state case was dead. It was only resurrected by the, the, the so-called admission of uh, confessions. Mm. Mm. So it, it, it's, it's not over. It's, in fact, it's just the beginning, you know. Mm. We hear you. Oh, you see? We hear you. Mm. Yes. And, then, and also another thing is um, uh, Rata, I'm not sure what planet is living in with you cannot be coming with cases of 19, referring to case laws of 1968 or 1965 yes. in 2024. Because of anything, you must remember, anything that is before uh, 1994, it's, 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 it's unconstitutional. Let me just put it this way. It's unconstitutional. Because of it was not in line, it is not in line with the constitution of um, democracy or mm. the, 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 the freedom of many people. Mm. So, at some stage, I'm telling you that the constitution is gonna, it's gonna throw away all those other um, judgments and case laws of those 1965, 1968 including the very same case of 1928, mm. R versus Hepworth, mm. even R versus Shabalal, all those other cases, the going forward, the Constitution is going to throw them away. Mm. You see? And I also want to, ex uh, um, what you call, I want to call, um, comment on, 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 on NPA. I saw um, today, uh, what's this other lady? Um, no, not, not pay me. The other one was uh, commenting, saying, ah, we're happy, uh, we brought 15, uh, thingy, 15 witnesses for this trial, within a trial, what, 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 what. And I was like, oh, okay. Now, the, 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 the NPA is coming to testify because of they saw that the case has been resurrected. But prior to that, we've never seen, I've never seen anybody testify, uh, like doing interviews on, on, on the case of Senzo. Nope. But now, today I saw uh, somebody, what, I forgot the name, it's this NPA spokesperson, so or it's Lunga Mahanjan, or something like that, mm. uh, you, being interviewed today. So I'm like, oh, okay, because of the something positive that is happening to us, the state, the NPA are now uh, coming forward to saying all these other things. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, and also if if to just to see that this case is a mess, Pegitela himself has never commented about this case. No, nope. you've never had a, 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 a what you call top brass of SA, SAPS commenting about this case. It shows that this case to them it's a shame. Mm. Well, if they win it, they win it. They'll start going to comment, but I don't see them winning. This mm. case, yeah, no, so uh, yeah, that's that's my two cents worth, my guys. Enjoy your evening, eh? Thank you, or your, your day, yeah, yes. yeah, <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> hey, well, it's very interesting that uh, Beggy Tele hasn't like spoken anything. The last time we had him speak on the Senzo Miwa trial was prior to the arrest, after that, I he checked out. Zanzi, hello. Hello, Mr. Anonymous, how's it? I'm good, sir. How are you? Hello, uh, hello, Mr. Anonymous, hello, Eli. Hello. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, yes we can hear you. Clearly. Oh, okay, good. 
Um, so in the in the trial in the trial, um, I think uh, there were some instances where I felt like the defense could have really, you know, taken it a bit further. Mm-hmm. You know, especially some things like the things like the AVL. You know, when 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 that evidence was brought, they could have at least gone in their own expert because it was manipulated. That I can assure. I mean, okay, allegedly, of course, but I mean, um, <laughs> I, I do believe. That, <laughs> I do believe that it was, it was, it was, it was manipulated. Especially those, those, um, those instances of um, AVL yeah. where, where it loses the signal. That um, you know, do, yeah, I feel like yeah, it was, it was tricked a bit. Uh, so I feel like they could have probed a bit further. I would expect things like the OBs. They were, that, that, that was canvas that was the end, but yeah, I feel like they could have got in some evidence to clearly show that this is what happened, you know. Mm. Uh, besides uh, just using what the state brought, uh, but tomorrow, uh, I tomorrow if they don't do uh, one thing, then I, I'll really lose confidence. So tomorrow, I'm, what I'm expecting them to do is so you've got the, the, the CPA uh, obviously determines uh, or makes provisions for how the proceedings should. Should be conducted, mm-hmm. you know, in a in a in a court of law, yes. in terms of how the evidence should be heard, how the 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 the, the, the ruling should be made, and things like that. So, the, when a ruling is made, when a judgment is made, there needs to be reasons as mm-hmm. to this is the basis, or these are because you're making a finding, and that finding becomes uh, a factual finding. Yeah. So, it means now that's going to be used against the defense and. It means, because now you're not telling them why you are, or, or why you are admitting this. All you are saying is, yeah, I'm admitting this because they complied. Yeah. So, this is going to be unfair to the defense because uh, you're putting them in an unfair position because now they don't know what to fight. They don't know what not to fight because they don't know what the, 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 the what 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 the court uh, has decided on? What mm. what, we, what are the facts? Mm. Is it a fact that I was lying here? Is it a fact that the state is right here? So that when you go to the main trial, the facts are there, you know, mm. as uh, 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 as found by the court. Yes. So what is the court found? We don't know. Yeah. So tomorrow. What they what they need to do they need to raise a special entry that three one seven to say because that the, 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 that's where you if there's been irregularities in the trial that's how you raise a special because the appeal you can appeal at the stage yeah. the appeal is going to come at the end of the judgment mm. you can appeal the, 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 but now what you do is you raise the the three one seven and then that becomes the the, the, the you put it on record. To say, we we feel like you didn't give us, you didn't go to town about the reasons for admitting the confessions, and it's going to uh, prejudice us as the defense because we don't know what we're going to be facing. So you put that on record, and then at least that gives you grounds for appeal. Yes. And then when you apply for leave for appeal at the end of the trial, at least you can consider that evidence as well. Okay. So right now, I think you just need to make sure that they put everything on record. They mustn't play around. They just sit. Uh, sit. They must make sure that they, they, they highlight so that because now it's all about the LP. Because you can already see that yeah, the the the, the guys are going to be found guilty. Yes. So what they need to do is just to make sure that they have enough on the record for appeal, so that mm. at least when it gets there, you know, it's 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 considered. Yeah. yeah. So and also you see the judge. I think he's scared of. He was scared of putting those reasons on record because the side kept saying this thing can be reviewed. If because mm. right now he's made a finding that this thing is voluntary, it was um, freely and voluntarily. Re- that's a finding. That's a very uh, big finding yeah. to say that uh, no coercion. That's a big finding. Mm. So if he's gonna come back, what is he gonna find in the main trial that's gonna uh, convince him otherwise? Because mm. that possibility, that evidence for possibility is done. So what else in? Even if those things are true, that visibility part was not proven because mm. you prove that in the in, in the trial within the trial. So if he comes back and he says, "Okay, no," what, what is he going to say? Is he going to say, "No, 
they were made feel involuntary or they were the guys were, 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 were like how, how is he gonna reverse it? so mm. that's why he didn't want to put the reason so the guys must force him to put the reasons on record if, they, if he doesn't want to put the reasons on record uh, put in a special entry make sure that they put it on record that we don't know what the reasons are and we feel like it might prejudice us but let's go on and then they continue mm. yeah sounds like a plan sounds like a plan yeah, because now they have grounds for appeal. Yeah, because that's what they need to do. Think about the appeal process. Yeah, because it's clear that the judge has has, has taken a decision. Yeah, and then lastly, uh, just the the Kelly issue. Kelly, I think she was also just part of the plan. Obviously, this is alleged, but mm. uh, I think she was uh, part of the plan in terms of they will remove her later from the trial. So she just comes in now. She won't be. She will get she will get removed, you know, because they'll make sure that you know she 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 and it looks like the, the state tried to link Kelly, but she got away. Mm. Whereas legally, she wouldn't have been implicated in any case. Mm. So now it looks like no, we did try to get Kelly, but uh, we just yeah, the, and the law didn't allow us. But you saw that we tried. But they 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 knew we see. That's how she's gonna get off the hook because number five is already in, uh, four is in, three is in. So those guys. So now they just wanted someone that can they can close this case and later rest it. That's in dance, mm. and that's now how they close it. But now with Kelly, it's gonna be blurry because it's gonna be like, did she? Did no? She she might have not. You know, it's gonna be blurry, and then that's how she gets off the hook. But the case will be closed uh, because. They would have found the uh, in quotes uh, killer or murderer, you know. Yeah. So, I guess, yeah. No, thanks, man. That's all from my side. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Very you. informative. Yes, you've unpacked it quickly. You know that part when he was saying that accused number two was forced to sign? This is how he put it. He says even his version, accused number two's version, is similar to that of when he went to Magistrate Grenier. Nothing was discussed between Tanzi and Ms. Grenier. He was just forced to sign a statement to prove that he really did not listen to the accused version of events because the accused was like, I was under the impression that I'm signing for things to bath. Mm. It, that part is not there. He was just saying that Miss Cronier forced Ntanzi to sign, which is not accused number two's version. He said he signed. He's making a ruling on, <laughs> making a I ruling on Carla. his on the theory on his theory. Like that is basically what he has created in his mind. Yes, it, it, it's, it's another proof that you were not really listening to the version. Someone of is the saying accused. that. Um, Shaded. <laughs> uh, WhatsApp cannot be. Um, if you don't find me on the other side, try me on the other side. Uh, we have alternatives. Yes. WhatsApp and there's a. Uh, Keep trying. Like that. Keep calling, but don't call while another caller is calling. Rather Maybe call that's now. the reason why you are not going through. Yes, rather call now. Now there's an open space. If you quickly dial out on Gainable, you'll come through and you'll tell us what you think. But then it becomes tricky when another caller is talking. Then we are disturbing them. Zanzi, hello. <laughs> Oh, San Bonani, San Bonani, Kaya, Nijani, Water Anonymous, Gnosis, and Meli. Sia Pila, I'm going to Nijani. Ah, Sia Pila, man, Sia Pila. I know, um, Tina, we are not surprised in the ruling of 1928. We are white cars, Angie. Yeah. Esa Tala. Yeah. Sia Bona, where he was leading to, is being on the side of the um, weaknesses and he's been attacking the defense mm. every second I told her whilst Baloi has been allowed to have a chit chat and you know flow with everything but uh, the last point in Funui Veza Uguti uh, Urat allegedly demonstrated his sides a color because you know, that's where I lost the hope of 
having a, a case that is free and fair. Mm. It's when the contradiction started to show on where was the body of Senzo. Mm. Where was it lying? Mm. And then the, the, the people in the house had different versions. And then he stated, he said, it doesn't matter where the body was, as long as there was a body. Mm. Then my question is, why then are we having witnesses if it doesn't matter what they say about the state of the event that day? Mm. That's when I, 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 I that's when I concluded that we are not going anywhere. This this is a, this is a Mahumela point two. <laughs> yeah. No, Ante Telavani, thank you, thank you. Umseme Zomosh, the Kuberan before you too, not that way too. Umseme Zomosh. You know, that time when uh, he was like, it doesn't matter where the body was. I, nah, I was like, what? <sighs> what? <laughs> but let us be honest. What? Maumela was a bit stubborn, slow, but mm, I. It was hard I would take for us back. to criti- Yeah, it was hard for us to criticize Maumela, honestly speaking. I even remember why we covered the trial while Maumela was still the judge. It was so difficult because he didn't give himself away like how Rata is doing. He would I, I would take Maumela back. He would he would he would make it not obvious. Only the perhaps smarter people or people who have been in similar situations would would pick it up. You understand? It wasn't for everybody to pick it up. And it was hard really for us in Zanzi reality as well to really go at him or to just speak freely to say, no, but he shouldn't have done this. I he was very Maumela was sus. just uh, 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 the only difference between the two. Maumela was slow. In terms of moving, um, he but he would ask on both sides. Yeah, he, he would tried. pose questions. You know, he uh, tried. I remember he's a listener more than a, mm, a talker. Mm. Um, yeah, it's just that he's slow. I think that's the problem with him because he's even gonna go for a hearing for those cases that he hasn't made judgments on. But he, he 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 was a judge, man. I, I Remember, we talked be about honest. being fast, fast and furious. I uh, he was a judge, man. Let, let's be honest. Compared to what we are now experiencing, ha, and at ha, least we have ha, seen ha, him ha. in church. I wanna, is that, is that you church? know, and in <laughs> he has a conscience. I mean, he he felt he w- you could see that you know he was feeling the pressure. You could you could see that he's human. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you could see that element in Maumel, like, even though we were annoyed. <laughs> We were annoyed by how he was so soft to the state. Drinking but, his tea. You know, with his white cup. You mm. understand? <laughs> but comparing him to Rata right now, no. I would take Maumela any day. <laughs> I don't want to lie. Let's keep calling, guys. Uh... I can't believe I'm saying this. I cannot believe I'm saying this. The way I was so critical of Maumela. <laughs> I don't believe I'm the one who's saying that actually I prefer him <laughs> over the current judge. The current judge is too much. He's too much. He's involved. He's within. <laughs> no. He's too involved. He should let the witnesses testify and give their testimonies in peace. Hey, Mr. Afro. I mean, I'm getting the trauma. <laughs> get the trauma. I'm actually afraid of a court now. I'm like, yo, ow. Imagine, and everything is so fast with Rath. Everything is like cha, 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 cha. It's cha. actually not fast. It's, it's, it's slow, 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 fast. Slow, 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 fast. When it's time for the defense, like cha, cha. I'm speaking on behalf of the defense. With the defense, everything has to be quick. Cha, 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 cha. 
But with the state die, they can repeat 15,000, 15 million questions at the same time, the same way, in a similar fashion. For the whole week, he will sit patiently and write whatever he's writing. But yeah, Kunzi Magulia courtroom for the defense. I don't want to lie. You come back. And I understand why defense Hello. lawyers. How will a foot he cabin cosy? Nay, you talk cleaning, she go bang yang at your hot iron cut his cut his seat. All right. Just imagine what the, the, the judge said. I got so infuriated. The judge says, when, when, when uh, actually Ramosi Pila states that they were driving along with the, with the accused and not giving him food. Mm. Oh, tea. Were they eating? Were the police eating? Were the police eating? I mean, this person is in the custody of the police. He has to get Elena a, 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 a nourishment taken care of. What is the police are eating or not eating? It is their choice or it is their situation. It has something to do with their job. I I'll give Valela. Thanks. South yep. Africa. We have a new problem. I'm traumatized. Uh, someone is saying, you know, airtime is expensive, data is cheaper here. Fine, you can go through data then. Yes. It's not a problem. You can Those who are WhatsApp. calling right now are calling through, through data. WhatsApp, yes. Through the data. So, yeah, you can call in. The line is open. So, yes, I was saying, guys, I'm traumatized, okay? Guys, defense attorneys, ni right, Mara. Is this what you have to face in court? I remember Bafana Mahungela's lawyer being all dramatic and stuff. And I was like, oh, why is he like this? But I, I understand now. I understand why he's on attack Zanzi, hello. like that. Hello. Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. How are you? I'm good. And you? We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. You can shoot. Can you? Uh, sister Emily? Yes, yes, yes. John. Just go for it. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, I just want to say, people, mm. I say maybe Kelly, uh, she will come. Mm. They will arrest Kelly. Kelly is not uh, coming. Even if they arrest her, there is nothing that they can do. She, she's not going to jail because those confessions they cannot be used against other accused. Mm -hmm. If they wanted to bring Kelly, remember the cell phone expert. Yeah, that's the evidence that they were supposed to use to to arrest Kelly. Mm. But they chose not to do so. So people are thinking maybe Kelly she's coming. She's not coming. They are going. Uh, Judge Rata, Baloi, Kininda, they are going forward with this case without Kelly. <laughs> and those accused, they are going down. That's why Judge Rata say, no, I know it's not a final decision. For what? Because you, you are opening a, a gate for, for those confessions. Uh, now they accuse the, 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 the state witness. You open those uh, uh, documents now. They are going to open those confessions. Uh, Balo is going to, to, to use those confessions, but you are saying, no, it's not a final decision. <laughs> those confessions which was made in uh, that Kronji office is going to be used. Uh, Boto's confession is going to be used. So why are you saying it's not a final decision? Already, as uh, Mr. Lomas is saying, uh, the, the, you, you, you can't take care of the damage which is already done. They are doing the damage for the accused now. Because Judge Rata, for a long time, he wanted to open those confessions. Mm. He even wanted to listen to the recording, yes. which was obtained illegally. So now he's happy. So people are thinking, no, maybe the judge will, will do something. No, he's going forward with this case. There's no way that uh, Kelly will be arrested. Even if they can arrest her, there will be no evidence because they have to bring evidence. They must have a proof that Kelly paid this one or that they hit those cell phone recording even they can bring a 
They are not saying anything yet because it just can be called this one, this one called this. No conversation, no audio. We can hear what was the conversation between Kelly and the accused number five. So people are just, uh, Balo is messaging them and the writer say, no, maybe in the future we'll get justice. There's no justice. You cannot uh, say the uh, judge, judge is right because he wants to bring Kelly. No. If the confession were made, uh, uh, there, there was evidence of AVL, there was evidence of, there was no interpreter in some cases. Why Judge Rata expect those conversation? Mm. So people must just pray. Maybe somebody somehow will come and say something. But for now, eh, the defense, because it's going to, to hammer them using the same confession that, no, it's not a final decision. Mm. So uh, uh, I just want to say, I know our hearts are broken. And uh, for me, I just want to say to the people, there is no justice in our court. It's all about evidence. And it's all about judge who's wearing a red uh, garment with white, small and color and black color. Which, which means if you find an evil judge, you are going down. If you, you are likely to find a good judge, you, 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 you will use the evidence. But this one, he picks. Even you say if... Um, you, 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 the people, some say they, they, they defend, they didn't do well. No, this judge choose what, what you to, to go with. Even you can bring an expect, you will take the evidence of the state expect and say, no, your expect was not good. Because even if you can bring a psychology, he, he doesn't care. So we can blame the defense in whatever, say, no, they were supposed to, to bring an AVL expect. No, he was not going to kick that AVL expect and take the state. Uh, <laughs> so there's nothing that you can do and please discharge. He picks what to believe and what, because if he can say the confession were done fairly, but there is evidence that somebody didn't sleep for how many, 18 hours. And when, after that, he's going to, to confess. Mm -hmm. So he chose what he wanted to, to, to use. So we can't blame the defense because like, for example, for instance, if his father is still alive or his mother, how can he bring his mother to be hum humiliated just like him mm. by Baloy or a small Baloy? Even if he can bring his sister or his mother, he, they were just going to be hum humiliated and it was not going to help. Just imagine, maybe your father is 74 years. He's been uh, cross-examined for two days, three days for nothing. And the judge is quiet. The judge is quiet mm. when Baloy or small Baloy is repeating question. Mm. So even you say, no, they were supposed to bring families, but to be humiliated by this judge who doesn't respect, it's rather I go to jail, but to humiliate my father who is older mm. in front of, of the whole world, humiliated by Judge Rata, mm. who doesn't respect he chose to respect whoever he chose. Whether you speak good English, he will uh, respect you. But people like uh, Makuro, he was humiliated, called that. Maybe it's because you have got a uh, lower rank. You are just a warrant. Mm. 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 You see, so just imagine your parents, you have been, just imagine you, you, you have been humiliated. So what about my parents? Even if I have to go down, I must go down, but I can't take my old father or my old mother to be humiliated by the state, by Judge Raj, who doesn't respect. So you can, you, you, we can even blame defense. You can say, no, they were supposed to bring this and this, but our problem is the judge. Mm. Who must wear the evidence? Mm. Who must use the evidence, not to ignore the evidence, say no. Because now he said he didn't even give the reason. Who does that? Mm. Who does that? Just I I expect this confession and you don't give reasons. You don't say nothing. You will say it after. Mm. So for me, these things maybe somebody or somehow, just like let, let's look what is going in Deben. I don't want to go to if you look what's going in Debe, at least 
those are lawyers. You can see maybe they can stand up for their clients. But this one, because when they started, it was uh, this one, because Baloy, people can say he won more than 20 cases. Against who? Mm. Can you say Kedah Chiefs, we can say Kedah Chiefs won three uh, matches in a row, but against who? If they were playing, they are under 19 or under 17 team, and they won. Can you say Kedah Chiefs won three matches? Because if Baloy is playing against uh, a legal aid, mm. he will win because those, those people, they will say confess or, you know? Yeah. No, I get yeah, you. Yeah, so... That's why they were saying no. But they were saying no. Who is going to pay? Uh, now, Sevilla is able to pay. Mm. Because they want illegal aid lawyers so that they can take our brothers and we can celebrate as South African. Because here in South Africa, we've got problem of crimes. Mm. People are being murdered every day. But it's not an embarrassment for the state. For, to arrest people like in that. But we, as citizens, we are saying no. We can even donate to assist in that instead of us saying going against in that because we already have problem with crimes. People are being made out. But we can see these guys, they didn't do mm. this crime. Mm. But people are willing to, 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 to donate. But it, it, does, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. Rata doesn't care. But no, they didn't. They don't care because they're in the court. It's it's just black and white. Yeah, it's your truth and it's your your your, your lies. Whoever lies better, and whoever speaks truth better, is gonna win. And if you have an evil judge like Rata, allegedly, you're gonna go to jail. Just nice. It's putting you in jail straight, nice, sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, Allegedly. <clears throat> and the views are of a caller. Yes. Yes, yeah, someone is caller. saying, I mean, before you say that, just hold that thought. Someone is saying, put Section 317 of Criminal Procedure Act. Okay. But before I do that, let me take this call. Mzansi, hello. Mzansi, hello. Hello. Hi, sir. How are you? Hello. Hi, sir. How are you? Good, good. Yourself? We are good. And you, um, and, and Emily? Yes, I'm good as well. How are you? Um, Emily? Yes. Mr. Anonymous, can you hear me, guys? We yeah, can we definitely hear can hear you. We can hear you. Just yeah. go for it. Tell us. There's, there's, there are two questions that I need to ask mm. the citizenry yeah. in particular. Yeah. Those who have been following this case, mm. and considering that uh, we are saying the citizens should obey the rule of law. Mm. In this case, Rata represents the rule of law. Mm. Now, we've been watching all the stunts that Rata has been pulling. Mm -hmm. Number one, Rata disrespects especially those who are coming from poor families. Mm. He has shown that multiple times. Mm. Number two, Rata is biased. Actually, I, I, I don't want to insult the old man, mm. but Rata is rather silly. Usile, if we want to put it in, in simple terms. Mm. Now, looking at that, someone who is representing the rule of law. We, the people, are seeing that. What are we doing? Are we going to call to this show every day? Mm. Or are we going to initiate, one, a petition that needs to be signed online? And that petition needs to go to Mlambo. And Mlambo must make a decision. Because I am seeing a danger. If we're going to keep on being aggrieved, you know, to a point where we see now these guys are going to go to the cliff and fall. But we'll keep on uh, maybe <laughs> uh, mumbling and, drum and grumbling, which, which is not going to take us anywhere. We need a citizenry 
all citizens who are aggrieved, we need to write a petition and we need to serve that petition to the relevant authorities and then take it from there. I think that's where we can play. Uh, uh, obviously, guys, we're doing a great job, but I think let's take it one step further. Maybe we'll make a difference. Let, let me leave it there, uh, uh, but, but ladies and gents. it sounds like you are capable. Why are you not doing it? Let me leave it there, Jenks. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> why, why are you not I think doing uh, it? it's like you, the discussion is for everyone who's here. Mm. And um, uh, anyone can take a lead on that uh, and, and they do it. Um, Zanzi, it hello. Like anyone can take a lead on that. Uh, Zanzi, hello. Zanzi, how are you? We're good, sir. How are you? I'm good. Yes. Yes, I'm on live. I'm, I'm on air. Yeah, you are live. You can shoot. Okay. How are you guys? We're doing well, sir. How are you? I'm good. I just thought I should pass by my fellow and say, yeah, I'm as disappointed as everybody, but I think there's uh, somebody has been comforting me saying, I definitely help at the end of the day. We keep so, losing you, Kola. I think there's going to be something that will come out at the end of the day. So I don't know. Hello. We are losing you. It's like you're far from your phone. Mm, it's like you're moving farther away from Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, now we can. we can hear you. Yeah. So I'm saying, uh, having considered a lot of things um, and having listened to a lot of things and having watched the case and having followed the case as far as I can, I can simply say, hey, I don't know, because others are saying, you know, uh, this person, this judge is playing a card on his chest where he's giving the state a false hope. Others are saying, no, the false hope is being given to the, to, to, to the, to this guy, the, 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 the accused. So at this moment, you just don't know. But like I said, you just want to remain, um, hopeful that's all i can say i don't know but i don't know i don't know you know you know i'm so i'm a bit confused i'm still trying to trying to understand the situation mm. and uh, lastly uh, i just want to say guys keep up the work i don't know if you know who you're talking to um we don't normally put people's name but we we have an idea you have an idea let me see if we can guess um uh, I would say who would you say this is Emily? Sorry. Why are you putting me on the spot? I am not good with recognizing voices. Why <laughs> don't you just tell us who you are and take us out of our misery? <laughs> <laughs> this is Emily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nevertheless, you're speaking to Bongan from SA Entertainment Podcast. Oh, we can tell that the voice does sound familiar. Okay, congratulations, by the way, and well done on the work that you're doing. Thank you very much. And it's great for me to come and say and support my colleagues as well and say you guys are doing a great job. Thank Keep you. up the work that you're doing. Keep up the good work that you're doing. Thank you. You sound so down. Thank you very much. Uh, Today I was sure. so disappointed, guys. I don't wanna lie. I was so disappointed. I was hoping for, I was hoping that the judge was gonna say, based on the evidence that I've seen, I was hoping that the judge was gonna say, the confessions are not admissible. But then, yo, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out if, cause I mean, I'll, I'll tell you guys the truth. Um, I've heard people saying we must be independent and impartial, and I said, show me one company that is independent and impartial. And, and this I say, it comes from me, I say, not even SAPC is impartial and independent. Mm -hmm. People are always biased, so I am biased. And my stand is, look, is that I, I, I still believe that these are, not, these are not the right people who took the life of our beloved Senzo Meiwa. Therefore, I still believe that I need the right people 
If indeed it, is, it can be proven that they participated, still I don't have the mastermind. And so I still believe that I need somebody that can give me something better, but not these people. They're not the mastermind. The mastermind is out there. And just to say this to other people, I always say that, you see, when the right people are not arrested for the right things, they will, get, they will, they will, they will grow bold. And as they grow bold, they are most likely to commit even more horrible crimes. Because if you, like, for instance, if you check stats, out of 10 people that commit murder in this country, only one will be prosecuted. That's why we see the rise in murder in this country. Because people never get punished for their deeds. As long as you have got money to pay, then you can bypass a lot of things. And that's what I'm, that, that, that's my concern. If we don't punish the right people, then people are gonna get away, will get away with murder and they will go on and continue do the things that they are doing. But so for now, I didn't say anybody's name, but I'm saying the right people must be, must come, look, they must be booked. And that's all I can say. Yeah. No, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks. Please keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Hey, guys. Nzante, hello? Hello. Hi, a lady, finally. Hi, can you hear me? Finally. <laughs> I can hear you. It's been men. It's been men's conference. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you, Mr. Anonymous? We're, we're good. good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We can hear you clear. <sighs> okay, great. Sure, South Africa, South Africa. I feel for your justice system. Mm. I've been following this um, case for a very, very long time. Rata is not for the people. Mm. Rata is not for the poor. Uh, Rata is a, a very... He has a very big superiority complex. If you are that person that looks like you are in the low ranking or you come from humble beginnings, mm. you don't look like you are from the creme of the creme de blu-ray. You're not part of Rata's clique. Mm -hmm. mm. It doesn't matter what evidence you bring in his court. Rata is going to look at who you are and you are just going to be that person that cannot get through to Rata. How is it possible that after everything that we've heard within this trial, within the trial, Tanzi's confession was compelling um, people got so emotional because people actually came to understand what these guys really went through. Hmm. But Rata is still not um, there where we are thinking, if you know what I mean. Yes. Rata is still thinking, no, you, you are not the person that I think I should give justice to. Let's just call a spade a spade. Um... Tanzi has given way more overwhelming evidence. And remember, in law, the, in a criminal matter, this is not a, a, a civil matter. Yeah. Civil matter is on a balance of probability. Mm. But the burden of proof in a, civil, in a criminal case is beyond reasonable doubt. You know why the crafters of yeah. the laws chose that to be the burden of proof? They put the burden of proof so high because you may end up actually incarcerating the wrong person. So it was incumbent upon the state to discharge that burden of proof. So we can't run away from it. He can call it a ruling. He can call it whatever it is. He can bring up all the cases that he wants from the 60s or the 30s or whatever it is. Ultimately, he, he had to uh, rule on the basis of evidence and he had to follow that the state has discharged the burden of proof. In this case, they did not. I mean, you would recall Gomez Zulu's submission, for example, overwhelming. Mm. We were waiting to understand, okay, 
where has the state proven the case in the case, in the trial within the trial? Nothing. Yeah. I look at. Um, Remember when uh, Judge Rata was appointed? Yes. There was a, a letter that was sent to the president by Zanti Kumalo. She said, no, there's a judge coming on board. Please make sure this thing goes fast and let those who did what, what, what go to jail. Remember that letter? Yeah. I'm going to leave that thought there. Just think about it. Mm. And if you look at the trial within a trial, Gandhi... 18 hours, no sleep. This guy has not bathed for how many weeks? Six weeks. Mm. He stated this in front of a magistrate. The magistrate herself, when she went on the stand, she confirmed that Dan did indicate to her that he had not bathed. And she didn't say any, she she did not... um, put that into record, like he didn't consider that part, that in itself speaks volume. Why would anybody, as a magistrate, tell you that I have not busted, I'm in front of this police, I'm, I'm, I'm basically in the presence of this police, and they have not even allowed me to bust or contact my family. Hmm. If I'm put in such a position and I'm asked to write, to, to sign a, a confession, Oh, I don't even know if it's a confession for that matter because I don't speak very good English. Somebody writes a statement, and they, you know, they, when you are, are caught by the police, there's so many documents that you need to sign here and here, and sometimes you don't even know if you're signing a confession or not, or what is the content of that confession. That in itself would have led Rata to understand that these guys did not sign the confession willingly and not in a sober state of mind. And that in itself was supposed to be discharged by the, by the state. Baloy didn't, didn't uh, discharge that honest. Mm. And if you look at Rata's demeanor, when it comes to the defense, poor Mshol, advocate Mshololo Shem, that lady has gone through, the, <laughs> she's hit the wall. Mm. There was even a time when um, Ngomezulu said he was going to report Rata for unfairly treating the defense. Do you remember that? Yes. Yes. But we are looking at the abuse of what is happening in front of the court. We are having uh, this this is playing out in front of us, and nobody is saying anything. Just like the previous caller said, we can talk all we want, but this is creating a precedent for the South African justice system to say that we can abuse the court systems and it is okay. It is up to the South Africans to do something about it because at the end of the day, tomorrow it will be your brother, it will be your mother, it will be your family who are going to be in this situation and nobody is going to, is going to come at your defense. So South Africans have a, have a big task on this case because it's unfolding right in front of your eyes and you are not doing anything about it. <laughs> yeah, no. I so there, there, in fact, I, 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 just a final point. On the ruling, for, ja, for, for, for Judge Rata to say that the ruling is, is not final and it may change in the main trial, right? Uh, what he's actually saying is, I have laid the basis for the main trial, right? So he's laid the basis of how the trial is going to unfold because now going forward, the confession statements are going to be regarded as the basis of what had transpired, if you understand me correctly. Mm. It is no longer about anything else. It's now going to be about the confession statements. And you know the reason why Judge Rata did not, I, I think Mr. Anonymous, you mentioned it earlier in the program where you said that within a ruling, you have to uh, state the reasons for why you have come to your conclusion, basically considering on both sides mm. of the evidence. There's a reason why Judge Rata has not done so. Because this case he knows is appealable. Mm. So once you go on appeal, you have to have the record and say, no, in this, in this ruling, he did not say A, B, and C. 
or he said A, B, and C. But you cannot say that he did not say A, B, and C. Because that's why he did not uh, give the reasons as to why he came to his conclusion. I think I've said enough. I leave it to the other callers to comment as well. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for calling. All right. Mm. Mm. Good night. Right. Uh, <laughs> people are asking me questions. Some questions. <laughs> Why is Tuli Tuli? Okay, I've, I've made Tuli Tuli a moderator. <laughs> yes, please. Tuli Tuli. You right. are the moderator uh, now. Let me do this. Uh, they're asking why is others others have blue tick on them. <laughs> <laughs> they are moderators. <laughs> Okay. okay. Careful, careful. Don't make them angry. They have the powers. <laughs> <laughs> right. Someone has been saying that. Hey, please, man, read this thing. Okay. Section 317 of the Criminal Procedure Act. Okay. Um, uh, determination of admissibility of confession or statement by accused person. So that is, uh, we are going to give the explanation. Number one. Uh, it's initiation of the proceedings if the admissibility of the confession or statement made by the accused person is challenged during the trial the court may initiate proceedings to determine it, its admi admissibility this section allows for trial within the trial commonly known as hey, hey, law terms vidi or something like that the Latin, term. Latin terms to be conducted specifically to assess the admissibility of the confession or statement. Number two, burden of proof. During the proceedings under Section 317, the burden of proof lies on a, on a, on a prosecution to demonstrate beyond reasonable doubt that the confession or statement was made voluntarily by the accused and is therefore admissible as evidence in a trial. Now I'm moving like Baloy. Number three, factors considered. The court, in determining the admiss admissibility uh, uh, of the confession or statement, may consider various factors, including but not limited, whether the confession or statement was made voluntarily by the accused person without any form of, of inducement, treatment, uh, or, uh, or threat, or promise. In this case, there was a promise of birthing. Whether the confession or statement was obtained, this is Mrs. Cronier, mm. or Ms. Cronier, mm. obtained in, in compliance with legal procedures and safeguards whether the accused was fully aware of the rights, including the rights to remain silent and the right to legal representative, uh, legal representation at the time of confession or statement or, or statement was made. Okay? Okay. This is a ruling. Based on the evidence, the argument presented during the proceedings under Section 31, the court will make the ruling regarding the admissibility of the confession or statement if the court finds that the confession or statement was obtained voluntarily or in, uh, or in violation of the accused person's right, it may rule it inadmissible as the evidence in, in the trial. I think I have covered you um, uh, one of our subscribers requested for this. Wanted you to read the section 317. Mm. Mm. There's yeah. also 219, 218. There's a lot of 217A, you know, 217B. <laughs> there are many. <laughs> yes. There are many, but they are very important in determining... Um, so basically, what I'm getting a sense of is also um, the arguments were exceptional. But I feel like this could have helped as well shape the arguments, especially emphasizing on um, things like he hasn't taken a bath. And he was under the impression that he's signing for a bath. 
not that he was making a confession. Yes. You know, hammer, hammer on that. I tried to express it, but then it felt like I'm being too hard on them under the circumstances and, 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 but it's good for the record. Just, just, you know, another thing that I feel like Ramasipili needs to take away from this situation is to stop saying, I will leave it for argument without arguing with that witness. Hammer it to that no, witness. The, the, the problem is that, uh, yeah, this was 317, uh, correctly so. It was 317. Mm, 317. This was section 317 of, of the CPA, Criminal yes. Procedure Act. Yes. So, sometimes they say they will leave it for arguments because they do not have uh what what uh, the judge will always say show me the law they don't have that in their mind as they are putting that vision so they leave it because how are you going to argue with that person he's going to tell you about 1970 cases mm. so some of the things they you just as you are busy arguing they click there but actually, this is the case. And you don't have, as much as you are prepared, you don't have... So he's deliberately making them timid. And yes, th that's why he's always pushing them. To the, because he's, he's going to say, when you submit, you make your, your, sub, your, your, your submission, he's going to say, show me the case. Show me the law. And then hint to Tubaloi which cases he can use, allegedly. Wow. Yeah. That's 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 because I think uh, giving you gave me a wrong one then because three one seven is actually dealing with that. Yes, with the trial within a trial and the, the possibility uh, of confession. The statements. special entry, I did not see it. I remember them talking about it. Uh, was it here? Because it's been a while. Maybe it was here. Someone talking about it. The caller. Oh, yes, there was a caller who was being... Yes, Mkobe Zulu did say that he was going to put forward a special entry. Oh, I don't know yeah. Whatever happened yeah, to it. Yeah. Um, I don't know whether he so, still continued with it or he has parked it for now because afterwards we saw what happened with the whole case. His case now was brought to media attention and, yeah, it became hectic for a second day. It, it just, just became... <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you can call. I know I ignored one one person here who was calling as I was reading. Um, let me hear this. I'm honestly trying not to be too emotional about the trial <laughs> because the outcome is so tentative. I'm rather approaching it from a perspective of, you know, critical thinking. Mm. So I <laughs> have been looking at the UN compendium mm. on what governs the definition of torture. And it's interesting to me, well, it's all interesting, but there's one particular addendum that's particularly interesting. I quote, the term cruel, inhuman, or degrading treatment or punishment should be interpreted so as to extend the widest possible protection against abuses, whether physical or mental, including the holding of a detained or imprisoned person in conditions which deprive him temporarily or permanently of the use of any of his natural senses, such as sight or hearing, or of his awareness of place and the passing of time. Hmm. And if a Google search can find me this, you know, something governed by, by the UN and which can be quoted and used to emphasize and whatever, then I don't see why there is any reason for, for the defense to be lax, even though the onus is on the state mm. to prove guilt. Because we're not in suits and we're not in, you know, how to commit murder. Mm. And so in a country like ours where the constitution itself is against us, then the onus is on not the lawyers of the state, but actually, you know, legal aid attorneys, unfortunately, and defense attorneys, really, to, to fight the fight. And that means fighting, 
you know, beyond what is simply expected by the simple letter of the law, which is really just about interpretation. Mm. No, Sweet submission. Profound. That's profound. That Sweet really submission. Like I wish it, 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 it did at some point. Uh, we cannot shy away from that, that it did feel like at some point there was a bit of relaxation there, but we cannot also shy away from the fact that the more heat you bring as a lawyer, the more heat comes back to you. Cases, <laughs> so, cases yeah, are found, child. Yeah. The cases are found. Hi, family. Lofate here. Hi, Yo, was a one my name you know, I hope we're going to have an opportunity to listen to the confessions. Mm. Yeah, because I think logically and even legally, e-confession needs to align to the evidence that has been led and evidence that will be led. Mm. <clears throat> because there is no point in having a confession that is contradicting the evidence. So, which means these confessions must be properly aligned. I don't know Gengoku because even the evidence of the witnesses is contradicting. So, hey, I'm, I'm hoping Uti, there will be a huge loophole there. Hmm. That would be nice, actually, if there's contradiction. I want, I want to see what will happen. Yeah, they're starting today to unravel those confessions, to read them into the record. The details of them, you know I got you. Every single detail I will capture. Yes, that is if you sleep in, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think today is, you needed people to put my bottle. bottle. Because, yeah, today was very emotional for a lot of people I saw. I, I, I was happy. I was ready. And I always use the strategy of, uh, of prepare we, for we, worse. We prepare for the worst in such reality. We do, honestly. And it's helping me also because I would have been an emotional wreck. But I, I, I saw it coming. With analyzing, I saw it coming that I... Ah. I would rather. You can't stop him, you know. Who? You? Stop him. Ah, no. Azimbata. Azimbata. Right, guys, I think we have exhausted all of it. Uh, we are done. We did Thank not you get you in. Uh, let me just get this one before I go. All right. Hi again, Zonzi Reality. Um, I'm just responding on the last caller mm -hmm. who spoke about the the United Nations definition of torture. Mm. Uh, Ramof Sapili, in his uh, closing argument, he did ask the indulgence of this of the court specifically, and he said he's going to use the definition of the United Nations on what torture is. He went into it and he did read it out to, to the court okay. and he used that in as part of his closing arguments. Yeah, I think I remember, but yeah. I, he couldn't quote it exactly from what I remember. He did ask for the indulgence, but yeah, he did quote it, guys. He did. He did. But it fell on deaf ears. It fell on deaf, exactly right. It was pointless at the end of the day because now we are here. <laughs> now we are here, right? It was pointless. And I remember even Mr. Anonymous saying that Rama's ability to fight. Mm, he he fought. He tried. Even yeah. quoting the UN definition of torture. Ha! That was a fight. And now we are here. With all the evidence that is there. Now the we car are parked somewhere for the close dumping to, area they initially denied. Day. The state said there's no such dumping area for ATMs. It moved from being a dumping area to being a dumping area of ATMs to be a <laughs> not even the 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 they the denied the engine part. The engine All of a the sudden garage. it's All like sudden it's it like it they is. voluntarily came with that information that the car was 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 had a breakdown. No, they denied it first. 
A person who only had the memory to rely on you recalled all of that. And that's what they were saying, the defense. That's why I'm saying I cannot fault them on this. He, at, towards the end, they fought. They fought. Something has but to give. But you can't fight the system. Something has to give. You can't fight the system. Sometimes you just got to let it be. It's a marathon, guys. I keep reminding you. It's a marathon. Hi, Mzansi. Hi. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm anonymous. I'm going For my opinion, he's just the hired gun. Uh, he was brought here uh, just to shoot. And Abuele Kaya with Sala Pants. And any thing worried in I would see. Lavanto Lababa prepared for, uh, for, for, for anything. Uh, even if a if, uh, little Kala Lele Bengal winner and then uphill. Can I believe a good banana? I play banana or plan P. Learn to go out of my plan from day one. Day. Yeah, that's how I feel sometimes. But guys, um <laughs> allegedly Everything said here is alleged. And Everything is alleged. The views that are said here are of those people who called. We obviously share different views as a channel. Maybe we do say similar views, but under just allegations, we are alleging. Don't come for. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Sfiso and Sizem Gaga. Thank you. Uh, with Stin, thank you, Snentanta, Net, thank you, to the tools. You have finally become a moderator, a moderator because someone is fighting for you on the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I like that spirit. <laughs> You're gonna go and fight for him back. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for being with us, and uh, please like the video on your way out if you forgot. Uh, but it has been, I think, a good, a good one, and until today. Oh, what's up? Thank you. Thank you. When we are going out, we almost didn't get this one. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> we almost loved Thank out. you, McDonald. Thank you, McDonald. Thank you so much. Highly appreciate it. And uh, yes, thank you. Uh, guys, it's a wrap. We will see each other later today because I need to take those confessions, they are very important. Uh, we're going to need to take them word for word. Word for word. I need them as they are, undiluted, mm. unparaphrased. I want them exactly so that we come and discuss exactly what is matching, what what is matching, who, how, ganjan. So I need to get my beauty sleep. Thank you very much.